Hello, welcome to this tutorial video. In this tutorial video, we will learn how to manage inventory on MUS Excel. Here, we will use some Excel formulas. Data validation, conditional sum, view lookup, concatenate. Let's discuss about the formulas one by one. First, data validation. Here, we will make a list of products with price of the products in a separate sheet. That is, cost of material. We will make a separate sheet for registering details of incoming material. That is, incoming. Now, in the sheet, incoming, we will use data validation so that we need not type product name again and again. And we can select the product from list. Two tabs are as follows. Cost of material. Incoming. Next. Follow the video. It is data validation. This is. Cost of material. Tab. Now go to. Incoming. Tab. Select single in. Column H. Go to data. Click data validation. Select list. Go to. Source. Go back to. Cost of material. Tab. Select column. A. If you use this formula. You are less likely to be wrong. See the video till end. Now, we will discuss about conditional sum. Sum if function is used to add values meeting the specified criteria. Now, it's time to go over the plural version of sum if. That is sum ifs that allows summing values by multiple criteria. Next, follow the video carefully. Let's see how sum ifs formula is applied for calculation of quantity of incoming material and outgoing material, you will have to use dollar sign as and when required. Because, the dollar sign fixes the reference to a given cell. An absolute reference, in Excel is a cell address with the dollar sign in the row or column coordinates. Here, we will consider only helper 1 column. Select row, N4, then go to tab, incoming, select column, W, then select column, Y, go back to tab. Closing stock. Select row. M4. Enter. See the video till end. What is view lookup? View lookup function signifies what you want to look up, where you want to look for it, the column number in the range containing the value to return. Return an approximate or exact match, that is indicated as 1, true, or 0, false. The view lookup function always looks up a value in the leftmost column of a table and returns the corresponding value from a column to the right. Here, we will use view lookup formula to calculate value of closing stock. See how to apply view lookup function. Here, we have some data to, that is price of product, A and price of C. So, we will select a range from B7 to C10. Next, we will write to, because, the column of price is second to the column of product, then write, true. Watch the video. Let's see how to apply view lookup formula for valuation of closing stock. Go to tab, closing stock, select row, R4, then go to tab, cost of material, select a range from B3 to C377. Now, practically C is third column. 
but, we will have to consider column B as a first column, then column C will be second column. So we write to, and then close the formula with true. Watch the video. How to use data validation while preparing sheet for outgoing material. Now, in the sheet outgoing, we will use data validation based on sheet incoming sheet. As a result, the items that will be listed in the incoming sheet can only be issued. Data validation formula will be applicable for all features of a product. Let's see how to use data validation for preparing sheet for outgoing material. Just watch this video carefully. What is concatenate? It is a formula to combine data from two or more columns into a single column. Now, we will use an advanced formula to combine data from two or more columns skipping blank column. This formula has been used because there are so many features of a product. As a result, a new column called helper1 will be created. Thus, all calculations will be done on the basis of helpful1 column. As mentioned in the Excel sheet, the arrow mark symbol is used to automatically skip the column H8, if H8 column remains blank.
Let's see. How concatenate combines all features of a product. Select. Row number 8. The item is. ACP. Here, we can see many features of the product, ACP. Such as category, color, brand, etc. Now we will select first category, that is row H8. Then use the ampersand symbol. Then use two double quotes. Without space. And then use the ampersand symbol again. In this way, the features have to be added one by one. See the video till end. Let's see, how to prepare sheet for closing stock. There is nothing to type manually in the closing stock sheet. Data will automatically transferred from incoming and outgoing sheet. To this sheet, this sheet is a consolidated sheet. This is final step. And now you can manage your inventory on MS Excel. Watch the video carefully. Thanks. Do you have any questions? Email your question. You can find me at mitra.gortam at gmail.com.